I'm Ryan Klesko, 95 World Series champs, Atlanta Braves. You're watching Class Act Sports. Victor Green, Jared Ginsburg, we're here with uh, Ryan Klesko at the Brian Jordan Foundation. Uh, talk about here a little bit about you know you giving your time out to support uh, Brian Jordan, the teammate of yours. Well, you know this is this is dear to my heart. You know I started a foundation several years ago too, working with sick children when I was in San Diego after I got traded back uh, from out from Atlanta over to San Diego, anyways. And you know he, this is a great organization. You know I learned a lot from what he's doing, and and uh, you know I'm just I'm just proud of him. You know there's a lot of guys that. You know, have great careers that kind of just filter off and, and, and don't give back. And Brian's been one of those guys that's always given back. And, and uh, it, it's an inspiration for a lot of us, too. And, you know, to see like guys like Brian, George and, uh, Brian Jordan and Tom Glavin and all those guys do stuff like that, uh, you know, I think it kind of pointed me in the right direction. Well, we're in the midst of his, his golf tournament tomorrow. I know you and I played in the Wounded Warrior yeah, tournament right. a few months back. How's the golf game going? You know, it was going pretty good. I, we played in a lot of them during, uh, you know, late summer. Uh, you know, the, the outdoor season's going pretty good, so I haven't picked up the clubs in about a month, but, uh, you know, Brad Klontz and a lot of those guys, we went on Dominican Republic and played. It's been good, uh, but I have not picked up the clubs in a month, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared what's going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> well, Vic actually showed me uh, one of those swings that you had, smooth swing on the field. I don't know about on the golf course. You were hitting some home runs in the wrong game. But talk talk about um, what it means to you to, to support these great causes. Because as he mentioned, you played in the Wounded Warriors event, and you're very relevant in giving back to the kids. You know, I've probably played in probably five or six tur charity tournaments this year. And it's just, you know, if, I, if, if I'm able to come out and help support a cause and help the kids and help, you know, uh, there's uh, Kevin Brown's having a uh, batter women's one in Macon. Uh, you know, Rondo White and a lot of the guys live, you know, just the just the guys, the guys that played together, you know, giving back to the communities, and we just we love doing it, uh, and and it's what it was part of life, you know. You, you, we we were blessed enough to be able to play a game to make a lot of money at uh, the given time, and, and 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 to do something to give back from what people given us when we were growing up. I think it's it's just it's just fun. Absolutely. I was giving you a hard time about the driver, but I did see you hit a class act putt, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I, you know, I'm hit or miss on the drives. You know, on, on these tournaments here, it's all about them trying to make me hit the ball, you know, over 300 yards. But, uh, you know, I'm not a great golfer, but I play all right. You know, Marquise Grissom, when I was with the Braves, we played a lot together. And, you know, we're decent golfers. But, like again, you know, when we're out doing, we're working and, and stuff, we don't have we don't have time to de dedicate golf, you know, six days, seven days a week. So, uh, you know, we come out here and have fun and uh, – it's, it's, it's for a great cause. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate your time with Class Act Sports. The, your time in the majors, you know, you were one of the best power-hitting lefties in the game. You know, what sticks out in your mind as some of the high points of your career? Well, obviously, you know, winning the World Series, which we did in 95, and, and, and you know, hitting those home runs in Cleveland, uh, that was awesome. And, you know, uh, but, you know, just, just breaking into the major leagues and, and having the experience and playing with a bunch of great ball players. Uh, but, you know, we went to the playoffs a lot of years, but the one, the one year we did win it was in 95, so that was a great year. And then, of course, my rookie year getting called up to the major leagues, it's your dream. You know, you, you work your whole life, you know, to, to do something like that, and, and you finally make it. So I guess, you know, winning the World Series and, and, and then ultimately, uh, you know, getting called up to the major leagues, you know, from a small little town in, in uh, you, know, you know, California. Well, speaking of a home run, man, you didn't mention you hit three consecutive home runs in, in, in consecutive days, man. You didn't mention about that. Talk a little bit about that because you're the only player have done that in Major League history. Well, you know, I'm surprised with all the with all the small ballparks and and uh, you know that's, that someone hasn't done that yet. But uh, you know, one of these days, it'll, I'm sure it'll be broken. But you know, just you know, seeing the ball good, the ball you know obviously flies out good in Cleveland, anyways. But it was probably. I think a couple of those nights it was like 20 something degrees in Cleveland and uh, Dave Justice always gave me a hard time because I was the DH and so I was sitting by the heater right. and he was so mad at me every time he would come in and look at me and D DJ was so mad at me because he's like, you, he said, you get to stay in here and be warm and he said, what? he said, the brother's out here freezing his butt off and you're sitting by the heater. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you hit three consecutive home runs, three consecutive days. Talk about how hard it is for Ara Pujols to be the third player in the Major League history to hit three home runs in a single game. That was amazing what he did. You know, he, he's one of those elite players when he gets locked in. You know, uh, that's the other team's fault for even pitching him. After the guy hits two, I ain't even throwing him anything close after that. <laughs> but, you know, they were still in the game. 
Um, but that that's amazing feat. He's he's a great hitter. You know, hits for power, average. He draws walks. Uh, he's just fun to watch. He's one of those he's one of those elite guys that goes in. You know, to the top guys. I mean, I don't care what people say about Barry Bonds before whatever. <laughs> that guy can flat out hit. He was. You know, 200 walks a year. Right. Name a guy that's had 200 walks in one year. That means pitchers are scared to death of throwing him the ball over the plate. It don't matter when, what the accusations are. That that man was the best hitter in baseball. And Albert and Albert's, you know, coming up on some numbers like that. Real quick before we wrap things up, you know, talk about your foundation personally. Well, we started uh, we started Blue Rhino Foundation working with sick children several years ago, and we, we do we do several events in, in different states, and we would have a golf tournament that was, that's coming up here uh, later in the year, and you know we, we we just enjoy giving back, and it's something that uh, just one night I decided that we're gonna start. You know, I was like I said, I've been blessed to have, to have a lot of people, a, a lot of you know, make a lot of money, have a lot of people be in my around my life. So I said, you know, we're going to do something for some less unfortunate people. And you know, I, I didn't come up; I grew up in, in pretty much a poor family anyway. So I said, you know what, I've been uh, I've been given a lot, so let's give back. Absolutely. Well, Class X Sports looks forward to maybe covering one of your events one day. Well, thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thanks thank for you, having man. me. Thank you. Good to see you.